Hi everyone, my name is Kiran. Today I'm going to explain about how to generate the backup reports from Recovery Service Vault. If you are using Azure Backup, a Microsoft native Azure Backup tool, and how to generate the report. And on that report, what are the um, like uh, details or uh, parameters will get the information? We'll look into that. First of all, we require the Recovery Service Vault. First, go to the Recovery Service Vault. Already I have Recovery Service Vault, guys. And you can see right now I'm going to select the one of the Recovery Service Vault and go to uh, Recovery Service Vault. Under that, if you check it under monitoring, uh, there is a backup jobs is available, site recovery uh, backup alerts is available, but I required the report. But that is a one under manage under manage go to the backup reports and what is the saying that should be select the log analytics workspace if you are going to integrate with the log analytics workspace what are the things we are going to get the reports so here summary totally how many vms is a protected how much storage we utilized it and uh, kind of uh, all the information we are going to get it you can see here silent features they are mentioned view report across the workload types subscription and regions view reports across the tenants using the azure lighthouse if you have multiple different tenants and single entity wise you want get the all the reports you should use the azure lighthouse a track and forecast use both vault and backup item level analyze trends on the jobs backup items policy and more audit backup and restore for all your backup items. These are all silent features we are getting, guys. And here, what are the things we are going to get it if it is integrating the log analytics workspace? First is a summary. After that, how many backup instances are uh, like protected using the Azure backup? And after that, uses how much uh, uh, virtual machines backed up and how much data we utilize it. LRS, local redundant wise, how much utilize it? GRS, how much utilize it? JRS, how much utilized it based on what policy we integrated accordingly based on that virtual mission and accordingly that backend storage it's going to utilize it yes so that storage how much we utilize everything will get it based on what we configure the accordingly that utilization report will get it guys as well as how many jobs is are running daily and how many is a failure and how many is a success and everything and what are the azure policies we are using for azure backup Different policies generally, all virtual machine should be enabled for backup. SQL, it's uh, enabled for backup, like different policies and uh, policy optimization and policy authorance and email report also. Automatically, that report also will get the email. So how to get the email for us? If I want a specific email ID, that needs to be get the report. So in this scenario, I'm going to first of all, click on get started. Under that, I need to integrate with the log analytics workspace, guys. Right now, I don't have any log analytics workspace. Go to the home, search with the log analytics workspace. And here, log analytics workspace, create a log analytics workspace. It's very simple to deploy the log analytics workspace. Here, subscription, resource group, and name of the uh, uh, log analytics workspace, backup, LA01, like I'm providing which region I want is GS2. So that specific region depends on requirement. Next, review and create it. It's a very quite simple to create a log analytics workspace, guys. So right now, review and validation is a pass and click on create. It won't take much time. Very quickly, it's going to create it. So coming to why is uh, this report means generally in real time, generally in real time, management, or managers or customers, they will ask you. They want a weekly report, might be they want is a monthly report, might be they want a quarterly, offerly, or it's a kind of, uh, they will ask you the report. How much uh, we utilize the storage backup, using the backup, how much backend that storage we are utilizing, that totally they require. And how many virtual machines are protected? And uh, daily, how much is uh, uh, utilizing the backup storage? This type of reports, generally, they will ask you even how many jobs is a running, how many is a failure, 
like that different types of reports they will ask you guys that's the reason very 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 important when we are working on real time and definitely we require the reports so these reports generally using the powershell generally go to the overview we can take it also but instead of that one automatically getting the emails it's a very very good approach and get the uh, automatically that reports also in our mail so that it's a easy to present to the our customer easy to present to the our customer so that's the reason we are going to look into that this part backup reports guys so log analytics workspace is ready and jump into the home recovery service vault before going to show the configuration here so if you like my videos please subscribe and like it and give the comments and share with your friends guys thank you very much let's jump into the topic backup vault under this backup vault go to manage under that it's a backup reports here what are the subscription related you want i want is a all and under this workspace it's a log analytics workspace i am selecting i selected automatically after that report filter i am getting last 7 days or 3 days 14 18 30 and 60 90 or custom range also we can define it how many days uh, like you required the this time range we can define it you can see guys the time range wise also we can get the reports here suppose i required the last one month and the remaining things i'm not think changing guys here exclude the uh, exclude legacy table false that's correct and backup solution for all and subscription also all subscription if it is any recovery service fault everything and location also all the location of recovery service fault and vault name also all all type of vaults suppose in your organization if you are using multiple vaults yes you can select it simply we can get the all the reports also summary if i go to the summary again time range what we specified same thing it's showing here so what are the things we are going to get it how many backup instance that means how many virtual machine is a backed up and protected that means is a protect the virtual machine cloud storage utilization jobs are created and backup instance also from this place all the backup instance one by one all the virtual machine and everything will get it even if it is in case of any virtual machine stop state for backup that is a thing an initial backup pending any new vm is a created still not backed up that is a initial backup pending reports uses data totally how much storage we utilize it as a lrs wise jrs wise grs wise uh, what are the like utilization everything cloud storage we can see the reports jobs totally how many successful how many failure and everything we can see it guys so you can see success rate succeed with the warning succeeded failed cancelled if it is any cancel the backup jobs and policies what are the azure uh, policies we apply for backup related that policies and optimization policy authorance and email report so like this these many different variety of reports we can get it but this reports i required automatic report automatic in my mail i required the report guys so in this scenario we can integrate it so you can see create a new task what is the task this is a one backup report backup report i am giving the name the task and uh, so this task name is a uh, going to uh, create a one lo uh, logical app logical app it's going to so in which subscription my lab subscription in which resource group it's going to created some specific resource group the task location also right now i am going to choose the east us2 so here east us2 and after that it's a date to the export summary or all the tabs or backup only instance which one you require the report I required the all the tabs so all the summary uses and everything i required and which mail id uh, you are going to get the mail that means suppose backup reports at the rate so and so your company name dot com like that abc dot com like that if you given that report uh, that email id here uh, that mail who are managing that mail everyone will get the that distribution group mail id you can provide it generally but right now i am providing my gmail id guys so one of my gmail id i'm getting here i'm providing here and here i required the email subject also backup report backup 
report like that i required and daily or weekly or how monthly so suppose i want a weekly that's enough and i'm going to submit it so what happening it's a when i uh, submitted it's saying that deploy the logic app template why it's a required logical app it's a template is going to create it because of it needs to be sent the mail that sending the mail required the outlook api needs to be integrated that outlook api needs to be integrated so that it's available under logic app under logic app already is available so that's the reason i'm confirming to deploy the logic app guys i'm going to confirm the deploying the logic app once is a deploy that logic app and automatically generate the mail no guys in the logic app also there is a api is available that api we need to authorize we need to authorize once is authorize only we'll get the report guys otherwise that uh, that logic app job it's what we create a here task the job is going to fail we won't get the mails guys so let's i'm going to jump into the logic app i'm going to show you go to the home search with the logic app go to logic apps click on backup report what i given the task name is a backup report so using same name logic app it's a created click on that backup report logic app so under that you can see guys it's a failed so that means it's not authorized due to that it's a i'm getting the fail so go to the api connection click on under development tools api connection click on api connection and after that east us2 office 365 because of i select the east us2 that's the reason it's a i'm getting the east us2 office 365 it's a same like azure monitoring log also associated with that right now i required the email so i'm going to click on this one here edit api connection we need to click on the test connection failed error so if you click on edit api connection now it's loading the things and it will show you authorization so you can see guys office is five that name is office is five outlook api it's a we need to authorize once i click on this authorization it will ask the one of the user id and password so i have valid office certified credentials i'm going to click on that related credentials i'm going to provide it so i'm providing my credentials here and don't save it and getting the mobile notification yes that sms i'm getting otp and uh, i'm going to provide it now i hope you heard about that sms i got that sound also you heard about here i am verifying so verified so that's verify and save it verified and save it authorization was successfully please save the your changes i save the changes guys so now let's go back to here under backup report logic app and now you can see uh, like i am going to run trigger again automatically it won't happen because of i given the seven days that's the reason and it's a uh, now it's a uh, trying to run here running the the job so generate the report what log analytics workspace is a collect the all the logs related uh, backup related utilization how many vms is a protected all type of what we mention and in the what are the options we selected accordingly that it's a uh, collecting the report and generating the report and after that sending the mail to us so totally this is going to run and will get the successful guys it's going to get the successful but it it will take a little bit time guys but in this report we can't see anything why because of you know it's a lab just i create a log analytics workspace uh, sorry just i create a uh, backup recovery service vault that is a backup related recovery service vault just created i am not uh, added the any virtual machine that means it's not protect the any virtual machine or azure file share nothing i am not taking any backup that's the reason i won't get the any report properly but right now why i am getting failed very interesting so let's see is a logic app let me try to run again it should be successful guys definitely 
so one more time i am trying to check it might be uh, previously i already tested in my real time it's working i'm and uh, getting the mails also uh, weekly so that's why like i want to show to the everyone so definitely it should be work but you should have um, like authorize and provide the valid user id and password we should provide it guys okay so that only it will work so before also authorization completed successfully if i don't have that office is why it won't uh, successful and even i won't get the mail also so let's uh, one minute guys otherwise i will go to the my email id let me show you my gmail here i can show you here uh, gmail so previously i got yes you can see guys backup report but right now it's i didn't get anything because of i don't have any i'm not utilizing any data that's the reason uh, like i'm not getting anything here okay try to understand so this is a one guys backup reports it's a generated let's go to the portal now you can see here guys succeeded it's a you can see succeeded so this is a way generate the report guys automatically generate the reports will get that report what are the reports summary uses and uh, jobs and uh, how many vms is protected and all the data what we uh, select the uh, task and everything accordingly we'll get it guys thank you all we'll meet one more topic next time thank you all